I, st- I started writing out, like, what do I really want? Do I really want to have a 50 person team? Do I really want $600,000 a monthly expenses? Do I really? Want- no, I don't want that. Right. What, what do I want? What's the one thing I really, truly want to be, re- to be what everyone wants to be relaxed. Right. Yeah. Yeah, what's the number one reason people want money? to be relaxed. What's the number one reason people want to be in love to be relaxed? What's the number one reason people want to be healthy to be relaxed? Like the, the only thing that people really want for the most part, um, unless their ego gets involved is relaxation. Welcome to the mindset by design podcast with your host and NLP expert, Andy Murphy, where you will learn the tips, tricks, and strategies. He teaches his world-class clients to give you the skills to dominate any business. What's going on, Mindset by Design crew, and welcome to episode 374. Hope you're amazing as always. Always say it, always mean it. <laughs> I really do. And you really should be amazing today. It's I'm pumped about today. I'm pumped about today's guest. It's um, I'm going to let you know all about him in a moment. But it's been a while since I interviewed people, right? If you're a regular listener and I'm hoping that you are, you definitely know this. It's, I used to interview so many people, some of the world leading the best people in so many different uh, areas, from world champion athletes to multi-multi-millionaires to everyone else you can imagine in between. And over the years, I don't interview as many people. Why? Why, Andy? (laughs) Because really, there's a lot of people out there pretending to be experts. They're very good at talking that talk. They're very good at marketing what they're talking about, but they're not very good at walking the walk. So as podcast industry blew up, remember, I've done this for seven, like seven and a half years or so, a long time. So there wasn't as many podcasts as there is now. And I saw something on Rogan the, the, the other week, and I think there was like three and a half million podcasts now. So there wasn't that many back in the day, right? So a lot of people um, have portraying themselves as something. And and so I'm very selective who I bring on the show. And one of the people that I've watched for years and been around, we've been in contact, but we've never really hung out and had a good chat, you know, was today's guest. And he is as legitimate as a business guy and just a badass and... I'll tell you all about Scott in a moment, right? But I've watched him for years and I've watched him just keep growing, but not just growing in the business world, not just growing with money, just growing as a human being. And it's beautiful because he just had a kid seven weeks ago and you can see a shift in him. And it's just, it's awesome. It's such a powerful interview. And do you know what? It's 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 more than an interview. Me and him just go back and to and we just riff and we, we talk about things that you probably, <laughs> probably are not expecting from, from Scott. Scott Alford. You're probably not expecting it from someone who does marketing and business scaling. You're probably not expecting the, but what's going on in this interview, um, unless you're kind of a Buddhist monk. <laughs> I mean it. I mean it. We'll tell you all about it, Scott in a moment. Actually, do you know what? I'll just tell you about Scott now. It's... Um, so Scott's done some amazing things. He really, he really has. But what he's most known for is he's helped build and scale countless six, seven, and eight-figure online business and businesses in the education, certification, coaching, consulting, and courses niche. Today he works with a hybrid between a mentor advisor and an investor for these entrepreneurs to help them build their companies and scale while building a sustainable, profitable. And uh, also harmony in their life. And that's what most people miss is that harmony bit at the end, right? They really don't. It's all about money. Anyway, that's my two cents worth. But after being an entrepreneur since he was eight and owning a million dollar business by the time he was 17, he's now in his 30s and he's been featured on Time, Entrepreneur, Inc., Forbes, Business Insider, MSB, um, MSNBC. And it's also content has been viewed by millions and millions and millions of entrepreneurs in 50 countries all over the world. And the truth about it is that doesn't even say enough about Scott. You know what I mean? It really, really doesn't. He is one of the most switched on dudes I've had the pleasure to hang out with and meet. Um, He's just 
is a breath of fresh air in the entrepreneurial space. This is not what he's saying. This is me now, you know. He, he really is because he's coming from such a different perspective. It's not about the logical mind, although it is about the logical mind. It's about being an intuitive, but it's also about being an intellectual. It's also about being, you get the idea. This is a different way to perceive life, business. But you know what? Do you know what the truth is? I've done this game for 20 years all over the world. I've worked with the best people in the world. I've had my highs, I've had my lows, I've had my highs again, just like all entrepreneurs have. I've looked into the minds of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And there's not too many people out there who I've been around who have the business brain, the marketing brain, the numbers brain, but is also exceptionally conscious, working off understanding frequency, understanding the science of harmonics, understanding how really the truth as business is done and, and how life should be done. And that's what's going to be shown in this interview. So again, this is badass. I'm pumped for you to listen to this. We're going to put a clip show out because it's, it's a quite an in-depth interview. And make sure you got your notepad and pen because he goes through a real cool closed eye um, little visualization. But it's more than a visualization. And it's, it's, and I even close my eyes. If you, if you watch the video, which is going to be on YouTube and I'm going to post all the clips and everything everywhere. But if you watch it, I've got my eyes closed, man. So if I've got my eye closed and I'm doing the interview... You should probably do it too. Um, links for Scott, everywhere. You need to go and check his masterclasses he's putting out. You need to go and check his content out. And you just need to, to jump all over all over Scott. He's, um, he's a badass for sure. And um, those links, where are they? In the show notes. You got it. Um, before we just jump into the interview, make sure you, while you're checking those um, links out in the show notes, make sure that you're coming to jump on my list. The reason is, right now, we are putting the final touches. We should be launching the Unfair Advantage Academy by the end of this week. And I'm pumped about it. I really, really am. But it's only for certain types of people. Do you know what I mean? If you're experienced in sales. So you're experienced sales pro, closer, real estate agent, coach, or entrepreneur then you're going to need this. What it's all about is doubling your income in the next 12 months using NLP, neuroscience, and 20 years of my experience working with the best in the world. We're also interviewing legends like Scott in a private separate interview just around sales. That's it. So that's going to be in the membership site. It's just immense, right? It's, it's just immense. This is all the best bits that I've taken from all of the performance, the peak performance, all the, the, the stages I've spoke on around the world, all the minds I've looked in, and I'm bringing it into one place just for you. It's going to be your home if you're in sales, so we can make sure that you've got a long-lasting career, you're earning millions of dollars. You don't go on this roller coaster of emotion and burn out. No, we're making sure that this creates longevity and the life that you truly want. Sound good? It should sound good. So if that's for you, then make sure you jump on my list. So easily, just quickly, and go over to andymurphy.online. That's andymurphy.online. Um, or hang out with me on social media, Andy Murphy Mindset. Pretty easy to find. Let's go there now. You're going to be the first to be notified. And then we can have a chat and see if it's the right fit for you. I'm pumped. I'm going to be training this personally every week myself, as well as bringing in expert guests. And you get the idea, man. This is, this is your home. So check that out, the Unfair Advantage Academy. And make sure that you're clicking on Scott's links. Okay, that's it. Should we jump in? Should we jump in? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I know you're going to love this. And I will see you at the end of the show. Okay, Mindset by Design crew. So 
you know you've had my awesome intro. You know I'm pumped about today's guest. And look at him. He's got an amazing beard, awesome headphones, and he's ready to go. Scott, really nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, likewise. I'm excited to talk today and, and see where it takes us. Who knows where it goes, mate? You've Who been, knows? Um, you've, where are you right now? Let's start even there, mate. Where are you yeah. in the right now? Yeah, we're we're in uh, Northern California, right above San Francisco. Um, mm. After being in Venice Beach for a few years, I'm from Canada originally. Yeah, and then uh, we actually just bought a second house um, in, uh, in more of the Midwest, yes, and man. and so you know we're we're working right now, so we're probably going to be Midwest. Um, we're going to buy a place in Malibu, and then a place nice. in Hawaii, and then kind nice. of you know go in between those three spots and and hack the weather system. Dude. Um and and the tax system and um, I understand and, both and, of those and, things and, and and so yeah so it's, it's really exciting so we're we're just I'm just closing on our second place uh, oh, so any nice. day now and who knows who knows where I'm gonna be I, we we have we just had a kid seven weeks ago oh wow COVID happened couldn't 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 uh, you know travel a whole lot so as soon as we can travel who knows where we're gonna end up. As soon as Maybe. we as soon as we can do that, who knows where we're gonna end up. Yeah, we'll see what did, happens. Did. But right now, that's where I am now. No, that's beautiful, mate. It's, so you know what? I lived in, in um, California mo mainly for like over 10 years, and I just spent my time in Southern California. I never even made it to, to like, go by San Francisco. It happens. It that's happens. Stuck. Yep. But it happens. Well, so SoCal will suck you in and don't let you go. <laughs> hey, I, yeah, we, I've got yeah, I've got a few questions about that one too. As you know. But it's um, yeah, COVID didn't stop me traveling, man. I um, I live between part in the U.S. and then part in Latin America and other places. Yeah. So I've been to like I think like eight countries over the <laughs> over COVID. Wow, <laughs> Just, that's amazing. Going, yeah, man. no, I, yeah, that, I I love that. I mean, we did we get we got some traveling. We did a little bit yeah. of Mexico. It wasn't that, easy, like. Right? But no, it was. It's not as easy, and and it, it uh, if there's any any time to very much. Um, go all in on private private flying it was covid and really? uh you, you know it really fu funny side note so um we were we're figuring that whole situation out for next year and um two years ago i reached out to netjets and yes. they had the membership card and you know, the whole nine yards mm -hmm. and so i reached them i reached back out to them about i don't know three months ago to kind of figure out because we're going to do it next year cool 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 they are like oh yeah we don't have anything until 2024 our business has skyrocketed. <clears throat> and I was like, I was like, of course it did, because nobody nobody wants to deal with nobody wants to all deal that with stuff. nonsense. That's yeah, a whole different discussion. conversation. Yeah, yeah a whole different yeah, conversation. Man. I was it was it was mind blowing because they went from hey, you can have a membership and, and everything else to hey, the only thing we got is if you want to buy uh, a quarter of the aircraft for for the year. Okay. And, Maybe, right? and so, so that was that was that was an interesting little switch. Anyways, well, what dude, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. But that's the way. That's the future. One hundred percent, one hundred percent, man. It's um. Let's talk about where you've been for the past couple of years, mate. Because you were everywhere. You were like literally, like you were all over social media. And that's before. That's before TikTok. <laughs> that's like. It's like you know what I mean. Before TikTok existed here, at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I, on? I. Yeah, I know it's been so. So with 2018, 2019. So for anybody that doesn't know me, background: I've been an entrepreneur since I was eight. I had a million dollar business by the time I was sixteen. Lost it all by the time I was twenty one. Yes. Um, and you know, I'm thirty one now. And so the last, I guess, seven years have done me quite well. Um, sure. But but 2018, 2019, about 16 months, 14, 15, 16 months, somewhere around there, I made about fourteen million dollars yeah. um, in the business that I was running. Uh, didn't make any money. You know, I made, made that money, but I didn't profit anything. And so like, like a lot of businesses, like, and, a lot of businesses. And, like a lot of businesses and, you know, and so that made for a lot of reflection time. And I remember being in, um, me and my wife, we were part of this mastermind group and we were in Necker Island with Richard Branson. Nice. And I was on, which by the way, if you ever get the opportunity chance to be in Necker Island, it's a beautiful place. Awesome. And so I was on the beach by myself my wife was off, you know, doing some master myself. I was just doing my thing. I was like, all right, you know, like, what do I really want to create? What, what's it like, what's in my imagination that want, that I want to bring into my reality? Cause I realized, you know, at this point, and you know, this, which is, you know, our imagination dictates our reality. Our mind dictates our reality so deeply. Really and so I started, I started writing out, like, what do I really want? 
Do I really want to have a 50 person team? Do I really want $600,000 a monthly expenses? Do I really, no, I don't want that, right? What, what do I want? What's the one thing I really truly want? To be, to be what everyone wants, to be relaxed, right? Yeah. You know, what's the number one reason people want money? To be relaxed. What's the number one reason people want to be in love? To be relaxed. What's the number one reason people want to be healthy? To be relaxed. Like the, the only thing that people really want for the most part, um, unless their ego gets involved, is relaxation. And okay. and and so so I went, I I said, you know what, this is not working. Um, I sold part of the company, shut down the other part of the company. It cost me a million dollars to do that because you just can't stop a company one day and be like, all right, we're not gonna pay any bills. <laughs> right, right, right. And, and, and so, you know, then from there, um, it was really some time of like finding uh, the word harmony is the best way I can put it, Okay. which is, is let me find the best way in which I want to create my reality um, from a place of intention, from a place of, you know, I know I can make as much money as I want. I know I can do whatever I want. I've proven to myself at this point, I can do whatever I want. Sure. And, uh, you know, I read a really good Ray Dalio quote one time, and it was like, you know, once you realize you can do anything, but not everything, it, it really changes your life. And I was, and, 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 and I Beautiful. really, I really, really, really believe in that. And so then finally I got actual intentional about my life. It's awesome. I got really, really deep on, you know, what parts of my life do I need ego in part of and which ones don't I? And I went into this very introspective time, which was actually also the most profitable time in my life. Is that right? Like I made more money in 2020 than 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 combined in profit. Okay. In one year, yeah. Yeah. You know, everyone's freaking out about COVID. I'm yeah. crushing it. Mm. And, 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 you know, and it continued in 2021. It's awesome. And, then I took a sabbatical for about five months and I said, you know what? I don't want to do anything. Uh, let me, let me, now let me get more in that. Let me get even deeper. Where am I going? I want, I know what, let me, so the first part was let me get control of my environment yes, so that yes, I can be my natural, brilliant self. Yes. I love it. Now let me figure out where I want to go. One and of, yeah. yeah, go ahead. No, I I know I'm doing a lot of oh, mate, no, no, this is, yeah, I, 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 when I get interviewed, I just, people have to shut me up, so, because there's so much to get out, and, and they, you know what I mean, so, but that's what yeah. I, I loved about, like, I was going through your masterclass, and if you've never been through any of Scott's stuff, it's like, you're going to, like, wake up to what's going on in the, the truth of your business and life, for sure, but one of the Thank awesome you. stuff, oh, it's true, mate, it's, it, but one of the, one of the beautiful things that you said, and I love it, it's like you've got to be ruthless about what you say yes to and what you say no to. I, I like I, yeah. I use it a different way, but I love the ruthlessness. Be careful what you say mm -hmm. yes to because you're saying no to yeah. something else, right? Yeah. But literally, that ruthlessness is, yeah. and and that gives you what you were saying. That gives you alignment by yeah. really cutting deeply. off. Yeah. And and so did, did that? Yeah, deeply. Right? Did that five mm -hmm. months? give that for you is it just was it just cutting away what didn't work with people and places and things and business models? yeah yeah well well so so it first happened in 2019 because we okay. moved away from la to up here and you know in the middle of the forest really that's awesome um and la is you know la is one of those beautiful spots where if you don't know yourself you're gonna really not know yourself i live that um and 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 so and if you do know yourself you're gonna crush it OK, yeah, if yeah. you move to L.A., you don't know yourself. Um, it's, it's very difficult because, you know, you, 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 your ego can take hold very deeply because it's like the land of the ego, L.A. Yeah. And, and, I'm, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that that is the truth. It's the truth. And and so we came up here and it was like, you know, first it was, OK, what do I, you know, let, let me let me pour back into me. I've spent 2015, 2016, 20, all these years building for not really any real reason just because i mean it all started with me trying to get out of a million dollars in debt and then i just kept going because I, I didn't know what else to do right, right. um and so so then you know i was like all right well you know now i have this beautiful multi-million dollar home with a beautiful multi-million dollar view i have my supercar i have everything i want physically in my life nice right and and so that was like 2020 and and i was like okay cool i poured into i poured into me now what do i really want to wake up in the morning and do what do I want to wake up in the morning and in the shower be like, what do I want to do today? And I didn't have a clear answer. 
And so that's why I took the sabbatical, right? I took the sabbatical right. because, uh, you know, I'm really good at what I do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably one of the best in the world for the specific thing that I do. I'm probably one of the best in the world. I agree. And, and well, where's this direction? Because I don't want to be just doing the same thing when I'm, you know, I'm 31. I don't want to be doing the same thing when I'm 50. <laughs> um, just a bit. I, I, I want to be an entrepreneur, but I want right. to be doing innovation. I'm a creative. I, I, I see my business as art. Like that's how I see it. I don't see my business as like this serious thing. Like I see business as a form of play. And because of that, I said, okay, but well, what do I want to do? And so I took time away and, and it was beautiful. It was the best thing I ever did. One of the best things I ever did. Uh, one of the most difficult things I ever did because, you know, I was burning what almost $200,000 a month in investments and everything else. And so I just watched the bank account go down, like liquid cash go down, go down. And I, I it was one of the most beneficial money mindset things I ever did in my life. Be like, I'm just going to stop making money for a minute. <laughs> right, right. That was wild. I was like, I, you know, I remember being a month four being like, damn, this is cool. And, and, I'm and interested. so, and, and so, so that was beautiful. And so then when I came back, I was like, okay, I, I want, I'm really good at what I do. I'm really good at helping people build seven plus bigger businesses. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to help education. I want to help. I want to help the world when it comes to being educated and I want to change over the next 20 years, the education system, because when I was growing up, I grew up in a very small town right. in a place called Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada, on the East coast of Canada. Gotcha. I grew up in a town with 9,000 people. I, I, I lived on about 13 acres of land, which, oh. you know, essentially a farm. I yeah. had a bunch of learning disabilities. School was very difficult for me. I was not some whiz kid school guy. No, me neither. And, and so I look, the next 20 years is going to be some of the most evolutionary times for our world for consciousness for everything and we're not ready for that and our economy is going to change so drastically over the next yes. five years over the next I'm 10 years talk to you about that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the people people are not ready uh there are skills both physical skills spiritual skills um relationship skills yes self skills that are not taught by schools, not taught by institutions, not taught by parents. I want to help those people. And so I said, okay, you know what? That's something I can be like, everything in my life has to come from the energy. Not everyone's like this, but for me, my, everything I build and create, I build because it is for a past version of me. Yes. I got a book coming. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. That was, I'm just agreeing with you, mate. I'm on the journey yeah. with you. Carry and, on. You, and, you and, and, and so, and so, you know, I have a new book coming out. I have the nuclear effect, which I highly recommend picking up. You can get on Amazon or uh, yep. the nuclear effect.com for a dollar. It's my oh. book on scaling uh, seven figure businesses. It's had 60,000 copies sold, which is amazing for such a small niche, you know, type yeah, of thing. Yeah, for sure. But my next book's called a million in the red. Okay. And I wrote that book for the person so for me at 18. So I didn't go a million dollars in debt. And, and so, so everything I do is based on that. And I, I said, it. okay, you know what? Uh, I am going to, so I, I was like, right, I'm going to borrow Warren Buffett's model of going into an industry and essentially creating a moat around the entire industry. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to transition from being an entrepreneur uh, and business owner to being an investor and yes. advisor and mentor only, which is my yes. plan over the next three or four years. Yes. And I said, and then I started architecting what exactly is needed for this to be able to happen over the next 10 or 20 years. I see the big vision. Do I know all the pieces? No, because the truth is, once you know the vision, once you know what makes you feel, what, what gives you goosebumps, I got goosebumps right now, I was just talking about That's when awesome. it gives you goosebumps, the universe is conspiring for you. You don't have to worry about anything anymore. And that is That's sometimes power. what you, you have to take the momentum away. I always heard, a, I remember a quote from years ago, and it, I can't remember who it's from, but it said, in, in, in lack of clarity, take massive action. Well, I would say, I would add to this, when you have massive momentum and you don't know where it's going, slow the hell down. So you understand that. where you're going to end up. Yeah. So that's, that's where we bring today. And that's what I'm that's doing awesome. today. That's what I'm excited about today. And all doing it while being in harmony, working less than 20 hours a week. Uh, I, I want to be there. You know, we had a, a, our son arrow born, like I said, seven weeks ago. Ah. Uh, and that's very, very important to me. Yes. And, you know, I, I, if, if I have to do something that takes more than 20, 25 hours a week, it's a no. And that's there's huge, no man. amount of money that's going to get me to negotiate against that. And, um, and so that's why when I talk about being ruthless, you got to be yes. ruthless in what you know. Problem is, so many of us are going around, don't know what we're actually ruthless about. 
and it's so um, important. Or it's perceived of what like somebody like when you, when you lived in LA, right? And I love what you said. Because if you don't know yourself, then you're going into something and they will tell you who you are, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It, because you know here's what I mean? the box. Yeah, yeah, the box. yeah. You, and you social media is doing yeah. that, man. Social yeah. media is doing that for people. It's yeah. telling them what success is. It's telling them yeah. what happiness is. It's telling them what yeah. they should be, shouldn't be doing. And it's, yeah. it, it's, it's heartbreaking, to be honest, man. It, it's, yeah. it's heartbreaking, you know? So what yeah. you're saying is like it's basic stuff. Meaning it's so basic reverse engineer what you want. Start with the outcome and stop yeah. chasing stuff, man. Stop chasing. anything besides anything besides you want. Yeah. And, 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 ch- and, and the, the thing I would say is the easiest way to design the outcome is to not design the goal. Cause the first thing we're going to go to, I want a million dollars in the bank. Every entrepreneur, yeah, right, 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 every right, right. entrepreneur, I want a million dollars in the bank. I guarantee you the worst moment I ever had, I had a million dollars in the bank. I was like, no, what the, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Now what, man? Right now, now what? what? And and so any goal you have, yeah. you're gonna have three days of happiness, and every day after is gonna be depression. Dopamine. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Because because now you need a new goal, or you're, or you're yes. not gonna be happy anymore. And so yeah. so what I realize is that if we can architect the feeling in which we experience, and we understand how to construct the feeling using mm. our reality. Mm. That is how we get happiness. That is how we get fulfillment. Now, fulfillment. how do you construct a feeling? So the easiest way to construct a feeling is to go and find what that feeling is, whether it's on a vacation or it's on, you know, whatever it might be time. Generally, it's easiest to get this on time away when you're like, all right, let me just close the book. Let me close the calendar. Let me close the phone right. calls. Let me stop and let me go find the feeling and let me figure out how I can recreate that feeling always. Always. Yeah. And, and, and that's going to take, that's going to be a journey, right? I've been on the three year journey since I was on Necker Island, May of 20, 2019. Nice. Um, And I could say that when I read what I wrote, I'm purely there now. Now that's even fascinating to say, because even with, not getting 12 hours of sleep anymore and getting seven, which by the way, is amazing having a newborn. He sleeps like, like me, um, which is amazing. <laughs> um, but even, even I, the, what I wrote when I read it, I read it a, a week ago. I have it in, in my, in my drawer. I read it. I was like, wow. And I was like, wow. And you know what was interesting about it? What was interesting about it is once I read it, I didn't have the need to go and write a new one. Because you felt I was because I I felt whole in which that was, and I was like, well, if I just keep doing this for the end of time, I'll do everything I'm supposed to do on the planet. That's beautiful, and that's and that, very different than a goal. That's very different from a goal, and it's also it's it's a purpose for sure, but it's 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 congruence, right? It's calibration. It's 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 harmonization with what you truly. Are, are your intuition is pulled you in pulling you towards if yeah. you're here for a, a specific reason a specific reason most people just get lost in the mist they get lost yeah. with the noise but if you can yeah. get rid of that noise clear that smoke it's it, life becomes really really simple right and easy and easy. easy and 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 i would say you know i i, re- I was watching this uh, interview a couple of years ago from robert downey jr on the joe rogan mm-hmm. podcast Yes, yes, yes. And I, and I, I really loved, I really love him. And, and, and the way that he explained it was brilliant. And he said, well, you know, there's almost like this, this like this magnetic thing that pulls you. Okay. And you're like, it's silent. It's, it's invisible, but it pulls mm. you. Yes. And, yes. And, and that's alignment, yes. right? That's alignment. And that's that you can call that the universe. You can call it your intuition. You can call that whatever you might be, but it's, mm-hmm. it's a silent line. And what I've learned in my life is when we listen to it and when we go with it, no matter what it says, our life is much like a movie script and a good one. Mm-hmm. And, and, and we, we find what we're here to do. We're, we're, we're things, we don't have to like go uphill anymore. And the problem is, go back to the, just in education in total, yes, no man. one teaches us to follow that. No. No, nobody, 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 nobody man. Because we, society is a machine. It's a business. 
right? And it yeah. wants you to be a cog in that mechanism. It doesn't want you to be a free thinker. It doesn't want you to start businesses that it can't earn money from. It doesn't want you to be bouncing around the world and dodge, not dodging tax, being very careful and, and being strategic with your investments, right? It doesn't want exactly. you to do that. It wants you to get to work, pay your stuff, get your mortgage, be still and be quiet. And 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 the challenge with that is it's it's we're a soul. And and because of that, it means that we're here to experience, we're here to express, like what you beautifully said, you were an artist, you know, and we're supposed to create group, whether you're talking atoms, whether you're talking, you're filtering your brain, whether you're talking neurological patterns, whether you're talking the universe, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. If we vibrate, and we'll go there, we'll go in there, yeah. but if we vibrate, there. then it's about that frequency. And yeah. the duality of what goes around us is not, it's not good or bad. It's not negative. It's negative or positive. It's things to create. It's momentum. responding. It's yeah, responding. And, it's re and it's responding to us. It's, re it's responding to us. And, and so that's why I'm, I'm such a big believer of, <clears throat> I mentor a lot of entrepreneurs that are making, you know, sub a couple million dollars a year. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, and, and my hopes in mentoring them is that one day I'll be able to, you know, be an investor and advisor in their yes. business and, we'll, and it and doesn't we'll end up happening. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, one of the big things that I get them to do almost all the time, first thing that they, they do when they work with me, I say, oh, your first assignment, I don't want you to go make any more money. I want you to go. And, uh, I want, I need you to take your dream vacation right now. I want you to plan your dream vacation. All right, and it got to happen within a month. That's awesome. And here's your budget. Here's your budget. All right, because I know how much money they have in their bank account. I know what they can afford. Right, 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 right. Right. So I tell them. So I have one client, and uh, and I got them to do this. And they haven't gone on vacation for years, for right. years. Right. They got half a million dollars in the bank. Right. And I'm like, and and they're proud of that. Is a bit that's a big thing to be be proud of, even if you know they don't anymore because I got them to start spending it because inflation. But we can talk about that every time. <laughs> and 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 so I got them to spend thirty thousand dollars on a vacation. Dude. Okay. Now that that to a lot of people, for most people, that's like what kind of vacation is that? Okay, a good one. And it is a good vacation. <laughs> and I was like, I want you to experience the frequency mm. of never thinking about what something costs. But by what you automatically with your consciousness want, okay, and forget everything else. It's like I, I just you are going to spend that money, and this is a business investment, okay. Interesting. Well, he, he he came back. This person came back. They made in the next three months more money than they made in the last two years combined. Okay. Now some of it's business strategy. Let's be honest. Yeah, <laughs> but it sure. was the fact that they were able to tap in to a different level of consciousness than in which was their own. And if we're able to hack the level of consciousness, which is the frequency in which we're essentially, if you want to, if you want to go to that next level, mm. it's generally not the strategies, the tactics, those types of things. It mm. is being able to feel and experience the frequency, which is mm. that. Okay. Mm. Great exercise to be able to do this because I love being able to bring some tactical and strategic things yes, I'm sharing with people. So it's not just big ideas and people are like, well, Scott talked about something about frequency. So let me, let me. Right, 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 right. And, and, and so great. This is a great exercise. This exercise made me into, um, you know, a deck of millionaire at this point. Awesome. Okay. So exercise, if you're listening to this, watching this, you just close your eyes on a scale of one to 10. I want you to put you somewhere. 10, you're a billionaire. One, you're homeless. All right, I want you to put you, yourself somewhere in the middle of that. Most people I find end up being on a four or five, right? Mm -hmm. They end up being on a four or five. So I want you to detail your life, all right? You pay X for rent. You have the X car. You, you, you're able to do X, Y, and Z, whatever it might be. And I want you to get that in your mind. And of course, you're going to be able to spend more time with this after this actual episode. And then I, I, now I want you to go to one level up, okay? So if you're driving a Toyota Corolla, uh, today in your in your thing, it, now you're driving the BMW you want, mm. right? If if you if you're used to having twenty thousand dollars in your bank account, now you have a quarter of a million. Uh, if you're used to having to look at the cost of food, 
when you go out to eat. Well, you don't do that anymore. So I want you to start detailing all the things in your reality that are now different. Now, so I want you to get used to that, maybe spend five to 10 minutes with that. And now I want you to go back to your normal reality and feel what it feels like to be in your current reality versus that reality. Whether it's a constriction of energy or an expansion of energy or a scared feeling. And now what I want you to do, I want you to go down to four, right? So I want you to go down to, well, you, you can't actually drive a Toyota Corolla anymore. You got to sell that. And you've got to get a 30-year-old Toyota Corolla. That's mm-hmm. a bit of a piece of junk. Nothing against Toyota Corolla. It was my first car. But, um, but, but now you can't, you know, if you had a, if you had a three-bedroom house, now you have a two-bedroom house. Right. And not such a good part of town. Right. Now you only, have, you only have one month's money in the bank. Or maybe you only have a couple of weeks of money in the bank. Right now you're, you're, you're fighting with your significant other about money. Now I want you to keep, now I want you to get there and I want you to go back to five and then I want you to go back to six, right? In your mind, this is an exercise that I did almost every night for years. Mm. Okay. And then I want you to go to seven. Now what's going to happen is your mind's going to start getting very scared of going up or down a significant amount of frequency, which is what right. we're talking about here. Right, now right. we're using we're using physical things to trick your mind here, mm-hmm. right? We're using supercars. We're using things that, right. um, you know, at the end of the day, don't really necessarily matter. But it's the easiest way that your mind has gotten taught to be able to understand this. So we go to seven. Now you have millions of dollars in the bank. You don't think about really anything. You got a, a couple of houses there's just pure abundance. You don't really need to kind of think about a whole lot. You're just, you're, you wake up in the morning, you, your, your verbiage is what's the opportunity. Your verbiage isn't survival. Your verbiage isn't thriving. It's what's the opportunity today. What do I get to do now? Here is what we're trying to do. You go from one to 10, you know, and this mm-hmm. is going to take an hour. This is an hour meditation. If you're going one to 10, awesome. once you get going, it's, it's less because you're just going in between. And here's what we want to do. We want to make it so that your mind is so much into the version that you desire, which is one version up. It's so neutral that it's as if it's already happened. Now, this is what happens when you do this. You start to make decisions based upon the next level of consciousness instead of your current level of consciousness. When you make decisions up on your next level of consciousness, what happens? Your imagination turns into reality because you're making the decisions of your future self beautiful that one exercise that's awesome will change your life thank you for that man that's powerful for everyone listening even myself man it's like there's always the next level and it's not necessarily of attainment i mean of of accumulation it's the next level of what you want correct to experience your life as that's the big difference man Correct. And it's even and, and you can and and, and 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 I'll just I'll just say just to, uh, just so that, uh, just as a as a note, Please. you can take this and go in every life area, your kids, your significant other, your health, your everything, and and I only use business because it's you know it's mm-hmm. it's what mm-hmm. we're talking about today. Yeah, it's what sure. people, I, I talk to people about. But when I wanted to have even a better relationship with my wife, this is what I added. When mm-hmm. I look at well, how do I want to show up as a dad? Again, same thing. And by doing this, I'm able to take the future self and bring them into the now. It's very beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Because what you've added there is there's so many elements. I teach it with what we're doing is I'm, I'm, I'm building the, the, the patterns and the neurology to be that person. So you're able to make decisions at that level, right? So it's yeah. a feeling. But what you've done is that you've taken that and added actually actually. The, the feeling of consciousness, what it's like to vibrate at that level, what it's like to experience at that level. And I don't know if everyone, what we're talking about right now, right? It's like, there's so many people go, oh, I'm spiritual. I get it. You know, all of this. And that becomes an egotistical thing right now. Correct. Right? It Correct. becomes an attachment to an identity Correct. of ego. Yep. And it's not real knowledge. It's not wisdom. Right. Yep. Where you're coming yep. from with that is wisdom. Right. Yeah. Well, 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 it's really interesting because first it's knowledge, then it's experience, then it's wisdom. Yes. Wisdom yes. is the embodiment of knowledge and experience. Will it? And it's, it's right. the absolute truth and absolute yeah. truth. So it, it, it is. Yeah. Cause it's like you've lived it. And, and I mean, you know, and, and that's it. <laughs> you, you can learn a lot from someone that's knowledgeable. 
right? You know, you look oh. at people that teach maybe business, for example, but they never ran a business. Right. Teaching teaching a master's program in, in business, an MBA, is very different from learning yeah. from someone that's done it for years upon years and actually oh, been through it. Sure. Two totally different things. And you're going to get yes. two totally different experiences based upon which one you're obtaining and you're experiencing. Absolutely, yeah. man. Absolutely. In, in every aspect, mate. And, and I love it. And that's why it goes back to what you're, I love where you're coming from with your heart about changing the educational system. Because where I grew up was just straight blue collar, straight like, it's like your job when I left school, your options were factory, military, or go and become an electrician, right? That's yeah. how I grew yeah. up. I've moved away, way away from there. And I'm, my ambition is to create such a legacy, but not just necessarily monetary um, legacy. It's to sure. be able to create, yeah, just, just amazing people as much as I can, you know, because I've been through a lot of stuff. No one was there for me when I was younger. You know, I've been through bankruptcy. I went through a nervous breakdown. I, I've been through all that stuff when I was the top performer in two different countries in, in sales. And it was only when I, I, was putting together a development company a resort when I was like 27, took it to Dubai, selling it down, business partner steals my money. I go through bankruptcy. I go through a nervous breakdown. I was living in New Zealand on my own. My five series BMW got taken away. I was like, all right, yeah. now yeah. what? Well, that's yeah. when I went to LA and I started helping people with performance. Right. And, and and helping people and and the truth is all i want to do is make sure that people don't have to go through the same pain uh, that i went through it, yeah. and and if everyone was on this page in the in the in the entrepreneurial world man isn't that so much point? easier yeah isn't that so much point? easier yeah so much easier yeah and and and, and it's it's, it's kind of like, you know, being able to help people through the experiences that they're going through, because you, you can't ever teach somebody, you know, the best experience is obviously experience, yeah for sure but it's being able to be like, all right, well, what do I do now? Like, how, like, yes. how do I, how do I, how do I go about this? Like a lot of what I end up doing in my business is helping people. They come to me and they're doing, you know, let's say they're doing half a million dollars a year or $2 million right. a year, $3 million a year. And they're like, well, I got momentum, but I don't really, like, I got an idea of how to do this, but I've never done this before. Yeah. And so a lot of times what I do is, is I'm like, all right, this is where your life is. This is where your business is. This is where you want to go. Here's probably the most optimized way based upon all the experience I have. Right. Let's combine that with your intuition of like yeah. what you feel makes sense. Let's combine yeah. that with your life. And here is what's going to make it so that, because I, I, I've, you know, earlier on, I helped a lot of people scale very successful businesses and become very depressed because money doesn't, <laughs> add, money doesn't equate happiness. I've worked with and, a lot of them people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, and and so, and, and it happened to me too. I remember in 2017, mm -hmm. I made seven million dollars, and I, you know, I went from being a million dollars in debt to you know not needing to worry about anything. And you know, I, I smoked more weed in 2017 um, than I smoked when I was a million dollars in debt. Wow. Um, like I was a million dollars in debt, and I was happier than in 2017 because at least I knew I was doing something. Right. Like at least I, I woke up in the morning. I woke up at five or you know, generally about four in the morning when I was a million dollars in debt. This is like 2011, 2010, wow. 2011. Yeah, I, at least I wake up and I know what I'm doing. Hmm. But you wake up, everything's going good. And you're just like, what the heck do I do now? And so, you know, in 2017, that, I mean, that's how I ended up meeting my wife. I said, well, I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I got this great thing about me where I'm not attached to a whole lot. Right, right. And so in 2017, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill that business. Uh, I got some money. I'm gonna go travel the world, and I'm just gonna like see what happens. Well, four weeks later, I met my wife, so I didn't travel that much. Um, but what I did do is a journey within. Yeah. And and so so but but back to the the notion, which is, you can you can build a three million dollar business, five million dollar business, ten million dollar business. You're gonna have a million dollars in cash flow coming to you a year. All these different types of things. And if you don't have your, if you don't know what type of life you want, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just money and stress, right? It's just money and stress because, but if, if you're, if you're, if you're optimized, you know what you want, right. it's opportunity and energy. Cause what is money? It's energy. It's energy. It is right? only energy. Yeah. It's energy. Right. And yeah. so, and so that's right. why, you know, I love doing what I do because I get to help. In my opinion, I get to help the universe conspire on what it's doing by helping people utilize, create, amplify, 
their energy. Yes. Yes. As a collective. Which is how the universe becomes better. And yes, expands. collective. Yeah, yeah. I love it, man. And you know, it's it's like it's like why like there's so many people out there right now, right? And and uh, we'll talk about your audience. We'll talk about your your what you're building with the investment side and the equity. I think I think it's golden. I think it's a massive opportunity. I know I'll be working with you soon enough, Scott, for sure. Like for sure. Um, timing is 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 always perfect. And it's like there's so much like there's so much of this entrepreneurial space right now. It's become an identity in itself. The I, it has- I'm an entrepreneur. Well, yeah. What the hell does that even mean, man? Right? What do you mean yeah. you're an entrepreneur? Well, what does that mean, right? But then you get all of these businesses, and and what did they really do? Do you know right. what I mean? The agencies, the the this, the that. But what do they really do? They don't help people. They help themselves. Yeah. And 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 I see I see marketers, and marketers is a. An interesting word these days, man. It is. It is. Well, it's one of those things where people people are like, you know, oh, Scott, he's he's a great marketer. I'm like, wow. Yeah. I mean, I I mean, I I I agree. I I don't disagree, but but the word has become, you know, this this um, you know, I feel like it's like the 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 new version of a of um you know snake oil. You know what I mean? It's a new version of snake oil. And, and so so I'll, I'll give you a cool little framework that I've been working on. Oh, uh, you probably cool. haven't seen this in mine, but, um, oh, you know, no. I, I've been working on this. It's probably going to end up being a book and it's called The Levels of Consciousness for Business. I was about to ask you for that yeah. book, dude. I was going to ask I'll, you. I'll get it to you. Just message me after. I'll get it to you. Okay. Thank and you, by sir. the time this is out, it'll probably be available. We're going to do a mini book first. I, 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 um, I base this work with... Uh, uh, a friend of mine, a mentor, and then a friend of mine, uh, awesome. Frederick Dotson, which I love his work. Awesome. Um, and so I, he's been doing levels of consciousness work for 20 years. And I said, okay, well, hey, let me come, you know, work with you. Let me understand it. Um, awesome. And he wrote awesome. the forward to this. We're probably going to expand the book later into the future, but it, it's a, very simple to understand. And it plays perfectly into what you're talking about. So there's essentially, um, let's call it four versions Okay. of level of consciousness, pure level of consciousness that we get to see on a daily basis. Reactive consciousness, willful consciousness, intellectual consciousness, and intuitive consciousness. Yes. So what you're talking about in marketing is primal reactive consciousness. Buy this thing. If you don't buy this thing, you're going to be a terrible husband. Buy this thing. You're never going to get laid. Buy this thing. Right. You're never going to make money. Right. Buy it. So it's very react. This is, dra- this is traditional direct response marketing. Primal. Primal. primal reactive so it's primal kind of reactive survival marketing yes it's survival yeah 100 right so on one side on the lowest side we have primal on the highest side we have metaphysical all right so we're not yes. talking about those because um we can't really sell to those people for the most part right if we're here <laughs> talking about this stuff we, we don't even have the ability to talk we don't even have the ability to do that but it's all based on manipulation mm. right not mm. even persuasion but pure manipulation mm. right and so, and so this is, this is, this is the element, which is uh, another part of what I love talking about. I love helping people with is to align your business, your marketing, your sales, your operations, your delivery, your finances to the level of consciousness that you are. Okay. And then to know that allows you to make the right decisions. So I'll give you a perfect example. If you are selling an intuitive product and you put a countdown timer on the page, that page is going to do terribly. It's, it's going to do, it's going to be a terrible launch. It's going to be a terrible time. Okay. Why? Because you said it at the beginning when we talked. The universe takes care of all the timing. Right. And everything's in perfect time. Right. When you are in, in any level of intuitive consciousness, a timer is completely against anything that will persuade us to take action. Why? Well. If we go to a page and we feel like it's the right time, we buy. And if we go to a page and it's not the right time, we don't buy. We don't look at external elements. Now, if you true. if you true. create a sales page and you're going to a reactive or willful audience and it doesn't have a countdown timer, it's not going to sell. If you go to an intellectual audience and you don't give them a reason why the offer is going to expire, it's also not going to do well. So the intellectual person needs to know why. All right, well, there's only 25 spots this week, only 25 spots this month, right? I only take 150 slots a year. 
intellectually. Oh, well, that's because of capacity and delivery. Okay, cool, sweet. I'll, let me get in on that. Intuitive right. person's like, well, if the spot's there, it'll be for me. That's true. That's absolutely true. The scarcity isn't going to pull you or not because it's about, it's again, you're going to trust where you are in your life, trust that person, right. it's going to synchronize right. or it's right. not. Of, exactly. And so if you mm. align and you understand your marketing and your sales, and so here's the problem, here's the issue. <laughs> Almost everyone out there is teaching only reactive, willful marketing. And you've got a lot of people like yourself. You've got a lot of people that are intuitive intellectuals, okay? Intuitive right. intellectuals. So if you're purely intuitive, it's very hard to run a business, right? right. You're not generally not going to have a great business. It's going to be very hard because you can't ground your intelligence, knowledge, and, and wisdom into the 3D reality. Yes, 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 yes. Okay? Exactly. So people, work, exactly. people are in front of you and they're like, oh my God, my mind's blown, but you just can't get any traction. Yes. So, so the, the best place for business is intellectual intuitive where we're able to take our intellectual consciousness, combine it with our intuitive consciousness so that we're able to understand the big plan, the strategy, but we can still be like, all right, let me hire a person for this and this and this. And, this. Now, and what I do on a daily basis is help the intuitive person become more intellectual in their business. The willful person become more intellectual and the intellectual become more intuitive so that they okay. don't just go with the plan, but they go okay. with their intuition and their gut. That's huge. No one's doing that, dude. Nobody's doing it. It's, 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 it's Nobody's <laughs> doing that. Nobody's doing it. And, and I'm so excited about it because it builds entrepreneurs that actually wake up in the morning and is like, yo, I'm balling. I'm having a good time. I'm fulfilled. I'm here doing what I'm supposed to. I'm reproducing what I feel every day. Again, and that is like, by going back to Necker Island, right? You yep. got that, you got that feeling there, and then you're living it now, and you want to yeah, be yeah. able to get other people to experience that same way of life. Because I know what I know what happens. It's it's like it's like your life yeah, is yeah. mad, your life is magical. It's like you're living in a dream like state yes. of uh, of a, of your self-created utopia. You become the hero of your own movie. <laughs> yeah, you can become the hero of your own movie and you can change the script at any time. Yes, that's the truth. Once you remove that fear, right? Once you remove the fear of attachment and understand what you're talking about, then you can just start again and again and again and again and again and again yeah. with a new whatever you're pulled to next. That's yeah. no one's teaching that, mate. No. So, so that's that's another part. You know, that's another cool part of what I, I mean, obviously, there's only a, a, a you know, not everyone's going to understand. Not everyone's into that. Not everyone's into that, right? Not, not everyone's into that. But no. but the, the the thing is, I said, okay, you know what? I don't. I want to work with the, the people that I want to work with at this level. Your clients aren't always going to be the people are like you know that are exactly like you. A lot, a lot of my awesome. clients are intellectual, intuitive people. Yeah. Um. Sure. And and those are the people I partner with. Those are the people yeah. I invest in, advise, and I'm like, you know what? I can't. So I, one of the, you know, uh, one of the certification programs, I'm really big in the certification program. Yes, I know you are. And because um, I believe that that's what's going to change education in the future, right? You, you look at someone, you're like, oh, you know what? I want, I want that skill. I, let me go and like, let me have an immersive in that. I don't want to, I don't want to learn from an institution. I don't need a, I don't need some, you know, some initials behind my name. I need the skills. I need the understanding. I need the knowledge and the experience. So one of them is a relationship coaching certification. So to help people be relationship coaches. Oh, interesting. Now, I think everybody should have a relationship coach, or at least at some point, enduring points in your relationship, particularly at the beginning. And why? Because you got two people that communicate completely differently. And if you can understand how to both communicate the same way, mm. uh, the, the ROI of your relationship is going to be a lot higher. The happiness is going to be a lot higher. And more than likely, right. the ability right. for it to actually sustain time is also going to be much higher. Yes. Right. Love it. And Love so, it. so, now, this is not something that I can go teach, okay, All right? I don't want to teach it. I don't want to talk about it. But we're now certifying like hundreds upon hundreds of certification coaches to be able to experience something that deeply impacted my life with my wife first when we came together in having mm -hmm. that type of coaching so that mm -hmm. we're like, we, we met and, and, and got married within six months. Okay. Amazing. And so, which was amazing. It was just, it was yeah. just absolutely amazing. We have an amazing relationship. We're almost together for five years in a couple of months. Nice. And if we didn't have that help at the beginning, there would have been a lot more difficulty being able to be eye on eye and being able to be in this masculine feminine support system that a relationship right. relies upon. Right. 
Right. And, and, and so that's just one example of, okay, I want to go and help this, this person's in this intellectual and intu- this person in this case is very intuitive. I need to bring the intellectual in. Right. I'm going to advise their company. I'm going to make it so that hundreds of thousands of people, because I help them, hundreds of thousands of people have better relationships. One single leverage point created a ripple effect. Mm. And, 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 and this is what I realized on my sabbatical. That's the people I got to help. The people that can have the ripple effect of hundreds of thousands and millions, because I'm not the one to help people at that scale. But that's, that's, that's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. Instead of taking, you're given to create the ripple, right? And create and, the ripple. And yeah. Create the ripple. That's a, that's a brand in itself, mate. Create the ripple, you yep. know? But that, that's awesome, man. So we're going to wrap it up in a minute because I got some more stuff to ask you. But like, Scott, like if you were to put like, because people come on this podcast, right? To watch this. Obviously, used to me, I talk science, I go neuroscience, I'm talking this, I'm talking performance, talking this. And I'm also talking deep spirituality and stuff. But they come on and give it, this, this, this Scott, right? And, and we know Scott, he, he builds eight-figure, ten-figure businesses. He helps all these people. And then they listen to this and they've gone, that's not the Scott we thought it was. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They've come for tactics. They've come for logic. Yeah. They've come for strategies. Yeah. They've come yeah. for ad spends, right? Yeah. Of course, that's yeah. what you do. Yeah. Right. But this is who you are. Yeah. Well, and 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 I think I think the other part is like all those questions. Uh, this builds the self trust and resourcefulness that makes it so that you don't have those questions any longer. That's uh, that's the uh, like if, if you want if you want to really scale your business. Yes. That's not strategies and tactics. It is, but it's not. Mm. because once yeah, you is, once you know yourself you understand your mindset you understand just a few of the things that we've been talking about here today mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you can go and you can build the funnel that has the, is, your, is your best converting funnel you can go and spend money on ads because you trust yourself to be able to figure it out you you go and right whatever it is because everything right. in business comes back to self-trust right and seeing yourself and looking in the mirror and be like i'm gonna figure it out that they're like that's it like that is it. And once you realize that that's the case, then you can go and hire the mentor or the coach or whatever to get the strategies, the tactics, whatever it might be. Right. But being able to put it into your container, I see so many really? people will follow me up the mountain. I'm like, well, you, you might be going up the wrong side. <laughs> right. 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 You got to go, go up in a jet. You, you got to, yeah, you got to go up the way you want to go up. Yeah, yeah, right. Because yeah, there's, yeah, there's a billion ways to go up the up the same mountain. It's true. You got to find your way to be able to go up, but that requires self trust, and that requires knowing yourself, and that requires a lot of mindset work. That requires, mm-hmm. um, yeah, and and it requires a deep level of uh, universal. I trust the universe because I know I'm divinely guided. And once you have that, you're done. It's like, it's, it's all over. Like any roadblock is no longer a roadblock. Just life is the opportunity now. Badass, man. That's a beautiful place to finish for today. And everyone, you know, I'm going to put Scott links everywhere. You know, you need to go and check him out. Whatever level you're at, whatever it is, you're going to get golden nuggets constantly. And, and you need to get on his mailing list. You need to get his books. You need to get everywhere. And and I mean that hand on heart because I don't do many interviews anymore, Scott. I really don't. I don't get people on anymore. But you're someone I've watched for a long, long time. And it's like, again, I'm Paul, right? So so I got to tune in. And everyone, go and follow Scott. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. And if you're watching this, excited to meet you, have my words in your world. And, um, and, and to be able to help you with whatever it is that you're doing, you're building, you're experiencing. So I appreciate that so much and the opportunity to do that. And it's been great yeah. talking to you today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Take care, everybody. So crew, there we go. The end of episode 374. Love Scott. Gotta love Scott, right? Did we go down deep down the rabbit hole enough for you? I think we might have done, right? Definitely probably a different approach to what most people building an online brand are going to talk about. But I think it's important because it's 
it's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. So if you love Scott, want to connect with him, you know where to go. Hit those show notes up. And um, yeah, his links are all there. And speaking of links, make sure you're jumping on mine so we make sure that you get access to the Unfair Advantage Academy. What is it? You got it. It's for sales pros. Yeah, sales pros and closers and real estate agents and coaches and entrepreneurs who want to double their income in the next 12 months. We're going to make sure that you create a home for yourself, a longevity of a career, no roller coasters, no burnout. And I'm going to use the NLP, neuroscience and also 20 years of my experience working with the best in the world. I'm going to build you into the most badass you than you ever knew. And I'm going to use all the NLP and give you all of those tactics and strategies on top of your already awesome system. That's the secret source that I only share to private clients and you're going to get access to it all. Sound good? Awesome. So Andy Murphy online. Um, Andy Murphy mindset on social media and make sure that you're finding Scott Alford. Okay, crew, until the next time, have an amazing week. Much, much love. And um, oh, yeah, <laughs> one more thing. Why don't you smile for me? Thanks so much for listening to today's episode of the Mindset by Design podcast with your host and NLP expert, Andy Murphy. We'll catch you next time.